Hello and welcome to my channel. I've been talking about the beginning warm-ups for cello and we're now on the second page. So the first page is a lot of it's about left hand, right? Think about left hand things with hand frames and chromatics and all that stuff. The right page, a lot of it is about the bowing, the right side, articulations and sounds um, and rhythms that you have to play. And those videos are on the on the violin viola stuff is exactly the same you just feel a little bit different because obviously you play a little bit different but in terms of using collet and all that kind of stuff look those videos up and practice with those because it'll you'll be able to do that okay uh, when you get to the end we have we, we start to work on our ear a little bit warm-up chords do that with the practice videos it's great you can you can do those so what I really want to do is go to the very end von Himmel hoch this is a, uh, a chorale. Um, I've been telling all, all of the other uh, instruments, I've used these warm-ups forever, and I've used this chorale for a very long time. And uh, when I was in Germany, I taught in Germany, and I pass up my warm-ups like I always do, and my violist, her name is Micah, she says, Dr. Speaker, why are we already playing Christmas music? She was so confused, and I was like, uh... That's a Christmas tune? I didn't know that was a Christmas tune. It's so fun to be in another culture uh, because uh, they, well, they think differently than us and, and I'm using their music. Uh, to me, it's just a really great crowd to be in tune, but I'm using their music. And to her, it's like, oh, this is Christmas. She didn't mind. She was just really curious why we were doing that. So there you go. Fun Himmel. So uh, nothing in this is too terribly odd. Uh, there, there's, I, there's really no extensions in it or anything like that. Uh, there's an accidental of a C natural in the last measure of the last line, but really, uh, it kind of, kind of moves uh, along just very nicely. So nothing really to explain. We're just going to kind of jump right into it. One, two, three. <laughs> here so you can go B C natural keep going comments here that F sharp is the third of the chord I want you to really listen to that because D is the root but you're on the third it's a different sound you're not even on the fifth you're on the third it's a really big kind of a different sound also when you get really good at this I'm going to encourage you to uh, a lot of these fermatas actually one two all except the last one are on open strings and when you start getting a little bit better at vibrato and stuff you're going to want to just put a little bit of some sweet sound on that. And so just learn how to stop that with a finger. Um, so like the first one. Get, get myself in tune. That'd be a good spot to shift. G. That way. Wiggle string. A. Wiggle string. So you can just do a little bit. Tune. See what I'm saying? Just working it out. And then on that last one, you get the G and then D. You can do that with the four, you can do it with the two, you can do it with the one. All these things are just really good practice for you. So you might want to do that. If not, it's okay. All right? Okay, let's just do it one more time. Got another spot to practice. Here we go. So G. Get myself in tune. Here we go. One, two, Three. Save your bow here and then go B.
Okay. All right. That's the warm ups for beginning on cello, and I hope you find them useful, and I will see you at the next video.